Have you ever wondered what's happening inside the HEP2 cell once you add your patient serum? Or wondered why you see different IFA patterns? Well, in this video, let's dive into HEP2 cell structure and see how antigens in the cellular components react with antibodies in the patient serum and how this reaction defines the fluorescent pattern that you see. The IFA patterns you see depend on the antigens in the HEP2 cells reacting with the antibodies in the patient serum. When an ANA IFA is positive, the IFA pattern can be seen with the aid of a fluorescent microscope. HEP2 cells are tissue culture cells that are commonly used as a substrate for ANA testing. Understanding the basic structure of the HEP2 cell can help with pattern recognition when reading ANAs. There are two compartments in the cell, the nucleus and the cytoplasm. Over 35 different IFA patterns, both nuclear and cytoplasmic, have been described. So let's walk through the cellular components of the HEP2 cell substrate. The nucleus is surrounded by the nuclear membrane and will show a homogeneous staining of the nucleus with a greater fluorescent intensity at its outer rim. The size and number of nucleoli vary during the cell cycle. Staining can be variable from a diffuse fluorescence of the entire nucleolus to irregular staining of the nucleoli to densely distributed but distinct grains. The two chromosome arms are attached at the centromeres and will show 40 to 80 discrete coarse speckles scattered in the interface cells. DNA is complexed with histones to form chromatin. In interphase cells, the chromatin is dispersed throughout the nucleus and will show a homogeneous and regular fluorescence across the nucleoplasm. The RNA processing enzymes are clustered at RNA splicing centers called spliceosomes. These areas are rich in antigens such as SM and RNP and will show coarse speckled across all nucleoplasm. Antibodies to some cytoplasmic components can also be detected when running IFA testing on HEP2 cells. Mitochondria will display a coarse, granular, filamentous staining throughout the cytoplasm. Ribosomes display smooth to fine granular staining of the cytoplasm. You may also see weak staining of the nucleoli. Golgi apparatus will display coarse, speckled staining of the cytoplasm adjacent to one side of the nucleus. Cytoskeletal fibers will display staining of filamentous fibers in the cytoplasm. Centrioles will display staining of one to two discrete fluorescent dots in the cytoplasm. If antibodies are present to antigens in the cellular components, they produce a variety of characteristic fluorescent patterns. The careful analysis of the IFA pattern frequently suggests certain autoantibody specificities, but with variable degrees of confidence. A few patterns are antigen-specific, but many different autoantibodies give similar patterns, and oftentimes patients have multiple autoantibodies resulting in a mixed pattern. Thanks for watching, and please visit our YouTube channel and see other videos in the Autoimmunity IFA video series. BioRed Product information and contact info are in the comments below. Please let us know what you think and what topics you'd like to see in the future.